Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll check out all the Midsummer Night's Dream event activities lined up for the month of June in ROA 2.0. Participating in these events will grant generous rewards and limited edition items so you better not miss it out. If you appreciate this kind of videos, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First up, we have the Children's Playground minigame event from June 1 to 8. Just go to Printera Westgate and finish the minigame to get a candy lucky bag. Opening it will grant 6 Big Cat Voucher 1, 1 Small Wooden Hammer, and 1 Nicole's Zenny Bag which randomly grants 15 to 30k Zenny. You'll also receive one of the following items randomly. Up next, we have the usual 5-day signing event where we'll get a series of 5 consecutive daily missions. Just go to the pirate NPC at Frontera Square to accept the series of quests. Every time you complete one mission, you will get one thank you gift, which you can open to get 6 Big Cat Voucher Feast, 1 Small Wooden Hammer, and 2 Nicole's Zenny Bag. You'll also receive one of the following items randomly. Completing all 5 missions will also grant the limited edition headwear, Midsummer Praise, which grants plus 3 to all attributes and plus 3% skill damage. Up next, we have the Poor Fred Monster Hunt event. During the event period, Goblin Treasure Bandits will appear in Frontera South Gate every night from 6 to 10 pm server time. Defeating the Treasure Bandits handyman will drop the glutinous rice with a max limit of 300 per day. On the other hand, defeating the Treasure Bandits leader will drop secret glutinous rice cake with a max limit of 5 per day. The drop rate is not affected by combat time and it will still drop even after you've used up all your stamina. You may exchange them for various rewards from Fred NPC at Frontera Square. The glutinous rice can be used to redeem small wooden hammers, while the secret glutinous rice cake can be used to redeem Fred's thank you gift. Opening the gift box will let you choose one of the following rewards. The first option is the leaf reset headwear, which grants plus 20 magic attack, plus 2% mpen, and plus 2% ignore mdef. The second option is a Zhongshi Bay Blueprint, which is currently priced at 22 million zenny in Sea Eternal Love. Crafting and wearing this back item grants plus 5% max HP and plus 150 max SP. And the last option is 3 star strawberries, where in 10 of these can be exchanged for a random headwear. Do take note that glutinous rice and secret glutinous rice cake are not tradable in exchange and will expire by June 17 server reset. In addition, during the Dragon Boat Festival from June 12 to 14, you can go to Fared and purchase Goodwill Cake once daily for 1 zenny. Eating the cake will grant a special appearance effect as well as plus 15 to all attributes for 15 minutes. This can stack and the effect will pause when the character is dead or offline. Up next, we have another material donation event from June 10 to 17. You can donate various materials to Fared NPC at Pontera Square to receive one of the following sets of rewards. The materials required will be different every day and you can only donate up to 2 times per day. Up next, we have the gift from a far event from June 17 to 24. Just talk to Cesar NPC every day at Printera Square and read the letters in the mailbox to get one gift from a far. Opening it will grant the following rewards. Up next, we'll get double rewards from Mission Board Quest, Oracle Dungeon, and Endless Tower for 2 weeks from June 14 to 28. Do take note that the double rewards in Oracle Dungeon do not include Nolan cards. And lastly, for the non-BCC events, we have the Pouring Shodan event for the whole month of June. In every round, there will be 8 random rewards from Small Pourings and 1 bonus reward from King Pouring. You obtain rewards from small pourings by hitting them with small wooden hammer item which you can get from other events. After getting all the 8 small pouring rewards in the current round, you will automatically receive the reward from king pouring. After that, you can proceed to the next round. There will be 4 rounds in total. Here are the rewards you'll get for completing each round. For round 1, the best small pouring reward is 30 big cat voucher 1, while the king pouring reward is 30 secret recipe Oyakodon rice bowl. For round 2, the best small pouring reward is the limited edition Midsummer Night Dream offhand card, which increases your damage to insect race monster by 10% and 
and reduces the damage you receive from insect rays by 10%. Meanwhile, the King Pouring Reward is 50 Star Flower Stamen. For Round 3, the best small pouring reward is 30 Big Cat Voucher Feast, while the King Pouring Reward is 1 Glittering Rune Stone Star. And for the fourth and final round, the best small pouring reward is a limited edition back item Kitty Swimming Ring, while the King Pouring Reward is 1 Magic Card Album. All in all, the small wooden hammers from all events are enough to get all the rewards from the pouring showdown. If you still lack small wooden hammers to hit all the small pourings, you'll be able to purchase extra small wooden hammers starting June 27. So you still have a chance to get up to 8 extra small wooden hammers in case you have missed some events. Up next, let's take a look at the different BCC events. First up, from June 1 to 7, you'll be able to purchase the Cute Bear Lucky Bag for 15 BCC with an account purchase limit of 60 times. Opening it will grant 200 Vavzan Zenny, 6 to 15 Oracle Dust, 6 to 15 Oracle Crystal, 4 to 8 Mithril, a 10% chance to obtain a Water Crystal, and a 0.5% chance to get a Cute Bear Headwear. You're also guaranteed to get one Water Crystal for every 15 Lucky Bags opened. This can be used to redeem any of the following items. First is the event exclusive pet Lucky Tootie, which costs 1 water crystal. Unlocking this pet grants plus 3 physical and magic attack and plus 60 max HP. Second is the elegant Tootie pet skin, which costs 1 water crystal. Third is a lightning gentleman pet, which you can exchange using 2 water crystals. This is a 2 star pet, which you can also obtain by pet fusion of Lucky Tootie, Dulahan, and Savage Babe. Unlocking this pet grants plus 4 physical and magic defense. And last is 500 colorful shells in exchange for 1 water crystal. Up next from June 7 to 15, you'll be able to purchase the Flying Shadow Streamer 1 and 2 gift boxes from the Big Cat Coin Mall. Flying Shadow Streamer 1 costs 15 BCC with a max account purchase limit of 200. Opening it will give you 15 to 25 more coins. 15 to 30 gram dust, and 150 to 300,000 zenny. There is also a 0.2% chance to get the Flying Shadow Streamer mount, which grants 25% movement speed. On the other hand, Flying Shadow Streamer 2 costs 30 BCC with a count purchase limit of 100. Opening it will give you 40 to 60 Nolan cards, 25 to 40 gram dust, and 300 to 600,000 zenny. There's also a 0.5% chance to get a Flying Shadow Streamer mount. And lastly, from June 19 to 30, you'll be able to purchase the Midsummer Card Gift Pack for 30 BCC with no purchase limit. Opening it will grant one of the following items randomly. Alright, so far I've gone through all the Midsummer Night Stream event activities happening in June. I hope this video was helpful in explaining how to possibly get all rewards from this month's events. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.